Hari ini saya berada di Caveman Bangkok dan kita akan bersama dia punya owner. Kita akan tua keliling tengok Caveman punya showroom. Ini adalah sebuah showroom yang sangat menarik. Jom mari kita pergi jumpa owner dia dan kita jalan keliling Caveman Thailand. Jom. Okey, sekarang saya bersama bos dari Caveman ah. Dia akan introduce dan bawa kita masuk ke dalam. Swadikrab. My name is Niti Bom. Welcome to Caveman. Okay, Niti, thank you for having us today. Caveman, this name we found it very powerful. Okay. Especially when think about carbon fiber product. Thank you. I think we think about Caveman. All right. Can you tell us about Caveman? How long is already started? Uh, we started the factory in Thailand about uh, 10, 11 years ago. Okay. We uh, focus on producing the carbon fiber part. Okay. And we also have the branch in Malaysia, which mm. is uh, Cape Tech Malaysia. All right. And last six years ago, mm -hmm. we started to produce the carbon kit. Okay. We start from building the uh, wire body kit for a Civic uh, FB. Mm -hmm. And after that, we start exporting to US. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we keep carrying on our business with, with them. Oh. Right. Yeah, until cool. today, we, we still focus on exporting our body kit to mm -hmm. the US. Okay, we understand this is your pilot project. Is this the, the first caveman project? Yeah, we first built the body kit on this car. Alright. This is a legend, our legend car. Okay. It has become the, uh, our signature car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, why you start to think to do a caveman white body? Why, what made you think? You, you you want to start this uh, actually uh, by that time i didn't think about the business much about the white body kit mm -hmm. because we specialize on uh, carbon fiber parts okay only that but uh, i think it was my passion mm -hmm. on this uh, car style okay so i i like to uh, to see the white body car from the from us mm -hmm. and then i start thinking that the with us the asian people we drive a lot of aging car mm. like sedan uh, small uh, city car why don't we just try to produce our own mm. white body kit our own version and so, made in thailand and made in thailand yes. yeah and uh, we didn't expect to sell a lot or mm. export to, to any other country okay. we just uh, build it based on the passion okay yeah and All it right. turned out to be like very good just turn out to be viral yeah. in, in overseas. Right, yeah. And how the American find out your body kit actually? Uh, they, 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 they found us on the Instagram first. Okay. And after that, they, they, they bought the body kit and installed to the car in US, in, mm -hmm. in LA. Mm -hmm. And after that, uh, people start contacting me mm -hmm. and they bought a few body kit and uh, display in the SEMA. Ah, go yeah. to SEMA. In SEMA uh, 2016. Mm -hmm. And after that, it's carry on more and more. Okay, yeah. so, so we become well known in the in, in the US because of that SEMA. All right. Yeah. So this is the model who made you go viral in 2016. This is it, yeah. All yeah. right. Can we have a look this car? Sure. Right. So the, tell the, us about the front. Oh, yeah. This is not the original front end. Okay. We swap with the uh, Civic Coupe, mm -hmm. uh, US DM version. Mm -hmm. uh, my customer in US sent me this one mm -hmm. to exchange with the body part. Mm -hmm. So we install this one on and uh, we build a body kit for this car. Mm -hmm. Because this car is not available in, in Asia. Oh. So it's only available in the uh, US and Canada. So and yeah, this this one, you, you make this swap, is a original plug and play direct fit or you have to modify a lot of the fender? We have to modify a few things. Oh, the but fender, the means the fender, the, the fender is not fit actually. Not fit. All right, yeah, okay. We modify a little bit. So no wonder we see the headlight different, everything is different. Yeah, headlight different, hood different, fender yes. different, All right. bumper different. Okay. Yes. And tell us about your kit. How wide is this one, the front? The front one is about three uh, inches wide. wide. Okay. And the rear one is about three and a half inches wider. So you can use a very wide rim like this one. Yeah. Okay. We, we install the work wheels mm -hmm. because I like to collect the car, same okay. as you. Okay, thank and you. And then uh, we we put the work wheels. Actually, we we keep changing the wheels ah. of, of to this car, but okay. I come back to the original version. Mm. So we because we want to we want to throw back the original version to this car. Mm. Yeah. So basically, this car to, since two thousand sixteen is like this until today. Uh, we change color. to few few version. Okay. We change the colors. Mm -hmm. We change uh, the body kit mm -hmm. because uh, most of the time, after a while, 
the customer in US they ask for the new version. Ah. So we went until I think 2.5 version. Wow. Yeah, and we come back to the, the first version again. Okay, so yeah. they are actually want the first version back. No, because I retired this car already. Okay, so alright. So I want to keep this one into my my collection. Original. Yeah, we oh, not okay. gonna do anything with with it with mm. her. Anymore. All right, all yeah. right. Okay, we see this one the uh, window window visor. Yeah. This one also you made. We made this one. You made this one. So yeah, carbon, carbon fiber. fiber. Also. Carbon fiber yes. also. Yeah. And what product is from Caveman in this car? Uh, we started from the the hood. All right. The hood. Of course, the white body kit, the flat lip. Okay. Front speeder, this one. Okay. This one, yeah. 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 This is honeycomb. Yeah. What is the different honeycomb and normal carbon fiber? Uh, it's just a pattern. Honeycomb okay. is like this. this yes. Honeycomb. Yes, like this one, right? Yeah. It's so strong. usually it's only the pattern people prefer. It's just a pattern. Will be stronger or anything? I don't think so. It's just uh, for the design. Just for, for the fashion. Design. Oh, In right. the US, they, they, they like to order the honeycomb, uh, Kevlar or Forge carbon. Ah. Or sometimes camo like this. Okay. Yeah. So camo is just also for the style? Just for the style. Yeah. yeah. So basically, they are not into normal carbon anymore now. They yeah. still, they still, still, but there are some other people. They they want to be different, mm. want to be unique. All so right. they are seeking for something that not normal. Mm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. Then let's see the back. How about the side skirt? The side skirt. This is uh this one and this one is made of uh, ABS plastic. Oh, it's plastic. Yeah, we don't we don't do fiberglass anymore. All right, that means this one actually is we plastic. ABS plastic. Oh, uh, we, cool. We use a vacuum forming machine. Okay. This one, this okay. one, and this one uh, real carbon fiber. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's very good. If this, the means all this body kit is all made by ABS plastic. Yeah, all caveman body kit made of the ABS plastic plus carbon fiber. All right, that means caveman actually don't produce fiberglass body kit. You only produce carbon fiber or uh, ABS plastic. Exactly. Easy. Since uh, 2017, we stopped making fiberglass. Yeah. All right. Okay. to ABS plastic. Okay. How, how, how is the customer feedback of the ABS plastic product? Uh, they like it because mm. it's easy to install, easy to paint, mm -hmm. and the fitment is good because it's flexible. All right. Higher flexibility. Wow. So this one, what I see now, this is ABS plastic? Yes. Everything is ABS plastic. Wow. Really, betul lah. Ini ABS plastik lah. Kalau kita te right. tengok dalaman, dia nipis. And it's very thin. Very compared thin, to yeah. fiber, I yeah. touch like this, I feel it's very it's thin. It's about 2 millimeter. How about the weight will be lighter from... Uh, it's lighter, yeah. Even lighter from yeah. fiber? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, we can see the fitment. It's all beautiful. This is what you mean ABS, you got a, a good fitment. Right. Anyhow, we have to touch up a bit from the new one, exactly. usually, because right. all the car body is different. Right. Some car already accident. Exactly. Yeah, so when after the accident, they definitely they need to touch up a bit, uh -huh. right? <laughs> okay. Tell us about your Fosh Carbon bonnet. This is a new new trend. I, I can say this is uh, something like uh, a cosmetic car fashion. Mm. People want to to have uh, something unique. Mm -hmm. uh, it, for me, it's not related much about the performance, mm -hmm. but it's just about uh, the trend, the styling, the style, All the right. car cosmetic stuff. Right? Yeah. So uh, this whole trunk made made by us. Uh, we put this one, this design, the duck bill. Okay, the yeah. duck tail. This yeah, the duck tail, the yeah, duck tail. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, how about the weight? As this is a uh, forged carbon, we be, be the this the uh, trunk. The weight is lighter than the stock original steel. Yeah, all the carbon fiber trunk is l about 30 30 percent lighter than the, the mm. stock. All right. Ah, uh, stock trunk. But the forged carbon is a little bit thick, uh, thicker and more heavier than uh, regular carbon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Why? Of, because of the the pattern and the intensity of the the the, the weaving. Ah. It's, uh, All right. Uh, so to forged. do to do forged carbon will be dif more difficult than than doing normal Kevlar and. Yeah, it needs some more skill oh. of the, uh, the staff. All right. For handling this. And uh, also there is some uh, process in between that are a bit different. Ah, yeah. okay. And do you do any uh, interior product for the from the caveman? Uh, we produce some. Alright, can you yeah. show us? 
All right, we have the carbon fiber seeds. Okay. And it's one of the most famous product right now in mm -hmm. the in the states mm -hmm. in the US. We have few few version of this one. This one is like full padding. Okay. But the whole body, uh, whole whole seed made of uh, carbon fiber. Okay. And we also produce. We used to produce this trim. This carbon fiber. So basically, before that, like you say, you are more on the, all the accessory parts, right? Before yeah. But now, now we discontinue this one because it takes a lot of time. Mm -hmm. It's time consumed. Yeah. And we we have a lot more project on hand. Mm -hmm. We don't have enough time for focusing on this one. And most of another, uh, most of another time, the car in the US is the left hand drive. Yes. So if we produce this one, we cannot sell to, to the US. It's only sell in the uh, Asian market. Yeah, it's All not right. worth the... Correct, the correct. But seed basically, left, right is no problem. Exactly, seed is yeah. a universal fit. It can yeah. fit Ferrari, it can mm. fit GTR. Correct, correct. Yeah. So we can see actually this caveman seat is very, very unique. Uh, for my first glance, this seat is more like a drag style of the design. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Uh, you got the inspiring? Right. Where you got the inspiring from for design this seat? It's from the drag car. Drag car? Yeah. Alright, okay. Yeah. No wonder. Uh, we see it's very inspired by the drag car. Alright. Right. All right. So, how many design you have for the caveman uh, seat now? We have five versions of the carbon fiber seat. Okay. Uh, we can show you guys. Later on, All right. on the upstairs. Alright. Kita ada satu episode lagi, semua seat saja. Kita akan tengok di atas tentang semua caveman punya seat. Sekarang kita continue tengok kereta ni dulu. Okay. I tell them, I tell my fans, we will have another episode talk about the seat sure. upstairs. Now yeah. we talk about, focus on this car because right. this car is very interesting. Right. Okay. So basically, the interior, you are more focused on the seat. Yes. Alright. Yeah. Cool. So the the means now your your basically your market like I say uh, like you say we can feel that you are mainly target your market in US now. Yeah, it's okay. about ninety percent of the uh, our product exporting to the US and Canada. All right. So are you going to set up a, a shop in US or we or? just set up the company there, ah. Caveman USA. Okay. And we are now working on the uh, warehouse mm -hmm. and the office. Mm -hmm. So it should be ready about next year Feb uh, February. Where is located in America? It's in Virginia, Arlington, Virginia. All right. For American fans, for those who like caveman product, they have start a caveman in US. Do check out in Virginia, so you can get your product directly in America now. You no need to have so much hassle like before, right? Yeah, we have stock there. Yeah. So remember, for US fans, do check out caveman America or caveman USA. Caveman USA. Caveman USA. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So it's very nice you tour us and show us your legendary car today. You're welcome. And Thank we, you for visiting us today. Yeah, actually we are very glad and uh, pleased we, we, you, you invite us over and we see your showroom is so nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sawadika. Jadi ini adalah Caveman Thailand. So, original mereka buat banyak accessories uh, untuk kereta dan sekarang mereka ada banyak buat conversion untuk Alpha Wellfire convert to Lexus. So ini sebenarnya adalah Wellfire atau Alpha uh, 20 eh 20 mereka buat full conversion jadikan Lexus. Ini adalah salah sebuah dari mereka punya kenderaan. Padu tak? Ini adalah Alphard ha? Fully convert jadi Lexus Kalau tengok dia ni Lampu dia ada tulisan Lexus Kalau tengok depan Lexus juga ada logo di depan ya. So di Malaysia saya rasa Tak ada lagi uh, ada sesiapa buat conversion macam ni Paling banyak pun bagian depan saja uh, ta Tapi kalau you tengok bagian depan dia ada buat dah Dia punya Dia punya apa tu Uh, sambungan kan dia bukan sambungan lah memin sambungan dari Alfa atau Wellfire jadikan Lexus Kazuto Garage online store kini Kazuto Garage mengadakan kedai secara online kepada peminat-peminat Kazuto Garage jangan lupa datang support Shopee store kami ya dan anda boleh mendapat pelbagai merchandise original Kazuto Garage seperti t-shirt stickers barang-barang JDM dan lain-lain dan juga jangan lupa support TikTok, Facebook page, Instagram, YouTube channel Kazuto Garage, okey?